Hello everyone, my name is Estanga, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, we're just gonna get back into this, and I hear a lot of skeletons to start. Uh, okay, I guess it's up top then. Uh, let's, let's continue with this goal. After I make it day, so I don't get absolutely slaughtered on my way down. Okay, there's the skeleton burning to death. Up and dig down. Now I have an idea that'll uh, give this the illusion that it's um, a complete structure when it really won't be. So we're just gonna dig all around where the ladder is, but not anywhere where um, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, I'm gonna dig all around where the ladder is, but leave enough so it looks like it's a solid piece, even though it's not. I hope I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you'll it'll make sense when I'm building. Okay, so basically, uh, I think I. I don't need this piece, no. Okay. So I, I, I mine away all of this, and the idea is that I leave only, um, this piece here, this piece here, and then a roof that connects that connects up to here, which basically will give the illusion that this is a complete and solid piece, like such. And then I'll, of course, cover this up, and then it'll look like I'm walking into a completely solid area instead of um, a giant hollow pillar. <laughs> so... Did I need this? No, I did not need this. Or this. Or this. Okay. So let's mine this stuff down. Okay. Probably gonna have to fall and take some damage here. Oh. Ah! Yep. But I minimize the damage by landing on that block. Okay. Uh, let's go back up. Now I'm going to have to stick torches in the middle of this to prevent some mobs from spawning. But besides that, there should be absolutely no hints whatsoever that this is a uh, hollow structure. This will give me a lot more materials to build the rest of this with, and is built, and then as an example, or not as an example, but linking back to what I said in the previous episode, this is building smarter than, uh, than what I was doing, so, oh, okay, I guess this is the last little bit here. in a second. There. Now, walk around like this, and uh, stick a torch there, and stick a torch there. This way this spot has enough light to not spawn anything, and then I cover this up, and it's like it was solid. 
Okay. Now I just have to be somewhat careful because if I fall, I'm going to be falling the entire length and not a couple blocks. So... Hop. Okay. There we go. careful where I'm looking because I know there's an Enderman right there. I'm gonna be kind of careful about skeletons too, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> they could be a one-way fast ticket to a bad day. Um, still got a ways to go, but I'm making a lot more progress than I was, that's for sure. drop down this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more ladders. Let's, uh... Here. No, I want that. So, but now if I put that there, now I can access it without having it to be, or without it being seen. So... Some more ladders. And it's never there. <laughs> the illusion holds firm. Okay. So, I guess I need to get more stone. Let's, uh. Well, I have some stone, but that's not enough to make any significant difference. Um, let's go... Let's go up to the top of this. Let's see what else I can do. Alright. Oh, right. Let's, um... Let's move my chest. I think I've uh, put that off long enough. Let me just uh, see which... Or not which, but where. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here and right here. Yeah, okay. <coughs> All right, so let's take the uh, smaller chest first, and there's gonna, I'm going to run into that problem a little bit here. I always try to do a little hop because it makes you run faster when you're uh, directly against, or when there's a surface directly above your head. I should put this stuff away. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, when there's a surface directly, directly above your head, it makes, um, so long as you're jumping and sprinting, it makes you move faster than you normally would. So... Yeah. A slight speed boost never hurts. There's no way I'm gonna get all that in one run. Yep, I thought so. Okay, so let's go get this chest down and get everything put away in a hurry because there's one thing that I seriously don't want to happen, and that's lose all my stuff, and the chests aren't in my inventory. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, quick, quick, quick. See, the chests were apparently one thing that I did not pick up, so... Either that or I'm missing it. Nope, there they are. 
Okay, gotta be quick, because I don't want to lose anything from that chest. Including all my diamond stuff. <laughs> so... Let's just dump the entire inventory. I can sort it out later. I just want to make sure I don't lose anything at all, so... Yeah. And, uh... There we go. There. Now I feel better. <laughs> and, uh, let's, uh... I want to say let's go on an adventure, but... <clears throat> I don't have any particular goal in mind at the moment. Let's build something. I, I feel in the mood to build something. Let's furnish this place a bit more. Um, I don't know if furnish is the correct word. Um, I want to make more rooms to this. I want to make additions. I don't know why I'm being so picky about this. Just throw all this stuff in there. <laughs> Gravel. Okay, that should be fine. Now I need to think about this. I don't have a room that's gonna connect to anything yet, but I can't. <clears throat> I can't build anything else on this level because I have something that's going under there. I think it's going to punch through the floor if I'm not careful, so let's, uh, let's go down here a little ways. Let's have, whoa, that was scary. Let's have, like, a little way down here, another room. Now, this, I think, I'll make the, I'll make as... <gasps> no! No! I, uh, I, I made an Enderman mad. Okay, where is he? Come on, I know you can teleport in here. Are you gonna, are you gonna wait? Are you gonna wait? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna ambush me at, at a particular point that I'm not expecting? Probably. That's usually how he does it. Okay. Um, that's something I get to look forward to. <laughs> Oh, oh me, oh my. <laughs> Alright, so there's the torches. Yeah, okay. Back down I go. I don't think he'll... <gasps> yeah, that hurt a little, but... Let's put that there. <clears throat> now, so long as I'm in a uh, one by 2 like this, he's not going to hurt me because he can't fit in here, but the unfortunate thing about that is I build in 1x3s, so basically he is uh, a 1x3 entity and therefore can fit in my, uh, in my structures. <laughs> now I can build specifically to keep him out, but there's no real purpose to that since... He's going to come after me eventually, and I might as well, or I prefer it to be in a place like this than uh, while I'm looking in my inventory at a chest or something. So, let's try to think here, because I want to I wanna try and give this an illusion of a circular room to, a, in, or to an extent. So if I want this to make that, yeah, okay, so if I do that, let's leave that right there for now. I might have to replace that with a bit of smooth stone, maybe. No, okay, so I'm good. Mine this out. And, uh... 
to go in one more here and here. Right? Yeah, okay. So then this. Detail work is always so difficult in Minecraft because you, unless you make it absolutely massive, it's hard to get good details in. So, there we go. That came out better than I was expecting, to be honest. Nice. Okay, so. <clears throat> I thought I heard something behind me. <laughs> um, let's... Alright. Uh, I'm going to put the enchantment table right here. And I'm going to surround it in books. Bookshelves, to be precise. So, let me... I'm not sure if that Enderman's actually angry at me, or if I glanced just within the range to start the sound, but not in the range to make him mad. I don't know yet, but I'm sure I'll find out eventually. <clears throat> uh, okay, so let's take this. Um, let's make a bookshelf. I'm gonna those books. Oh, there we go. I only need three for now. So, let's do that. Like such. Ta-da! Librarian. Now, the thing about bookshelves is that you can, uh, you can, uh, chop them to get them back. The only issue is you'll only get the, um, the books back. You won't get any uh, wood back. So, yeah, I know. I just trapped myself in a pit, but not for long. There. Now, with that there, put that in the floor. Now, what's gonna? What I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna mine out all of this, all around it, and uh, surround it in books, both beneath it and right next to it. And I'm going to build it up just enough for me to fit in, and I'm going to cram this area with bookshelves. And what that does is it increases the uh, the enchantment level that you can put into something. Let's... I want to enchant my sword, I think. Or do I want to enchant my armor? Let's enchant my sword, I think. Yeah. Knockback one. Eh... It's not great, but, you know, something. <laughs> it uh, makes it more effective on edges of cliffs. Like this, kinda. Okay, um... What else? What else do I want to do this episode? Let's, um... What is the blaze powder do? I forget if I tested that. I know the magma cream gave me the fire resistance. I can't remember what the blaze powder gave me. I'm not going to test it right now because I'm pretty sure it's one of these potions. It's either strength, it's not regeneration, it's not swiftness, it's not fire resistance, so it has to be a potion of strength. I deduce that because sugar makes speed, gas tears make regeneration, and magma cream makes fire resistance. Spider eyes make poison, blah blah blah. You guys have seen that in previous episodes. Um, we are actually out of time. So, that's, uh, that's all she wrote. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!